The verse that I'd really like you to just take hold of today is James chapter 4, verse 6. And this is what it reads. God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. I don't know if many of you know, but I used to be a runner. I used to love long distance running. And the really important thing about running is, um, is the finish. <laughs> and I've got many medals to prove how much I love marathon running. But you know, many races are won or lost in those final steps. When I think of uh, when you run a marathon and literally five or six miles before the end, you reach that wall. And just coming through that wall is so important to receive that medal at the end. You know, King Uzziah made a splendid start in the Bible. He became king at the age of 16 and through his faithfulness to God, he restored his nation to honor and glory. Then he became proud and believed that rules no longer apply to him. He felt the law was above him. And when he confronted his sin, he arrogantly refused to listen. You know, King Uzziah doesn't stand alone in history. Men and women, once who were humble, have become proud and walk away from God. They probably persist in disobedience. They refuse to hear voices calling them back to God. They turn away from their friends. The way they finish spoils their race. And all I want to say to you today is have you wandered off course? We all wander off course. But the most important thing is getting back on track. Have you wandered off course because you stopped following God? Get back on track. And you know, by God's grace, you will get your second wind. Humble yourself before God. And there's no doubt about it, you can finish strong.